A devastating fire destroys the home of a man who has spent his life helping others get through disasters. Wichita police officer Mike Tidy and his family have lost everything. Now the Wichita Police Department is stepping up to help one of their own. Cakes Deb Ferris in Mulvane, where the family's home burned yesterday. This is all Wendy and Mike Tidy have left. Everything is gone. And what's so unique about this story is that Mike has spent the last 20 years of his career helping others. Now he's the one who needs help. This is the baby's room. You can see where the ceiling fell in the crib. Mike and Wendy Tidy can't imagine where they'd be today if she hadn't quickly saved nine-month-old Kaylin early Sunday morning when the house caught fire. So I just turned and ran back um, down the hall and got the baby out of the crib. And if it wasn't for a neighbor who pounded on the tidy's door waking the family, they might not be here today. And that's the scariest part of it, that it was so fast and so, so sudden. The tidies are thankful for the little things. I'm looking for the outfit my baby came home from the hospital in. And I, they got it clean. Here's his little pants. Mike, who's been with the Wichita Police Department now for 20 years, is on the other side. It's always on the other end. You think, you know, God, that's horrible. God, that's so sad. The tidies have nothing but the clothes on their backs and the love and support from their law enforcement family who is collecting money for them to get them back on their feet. We stick together. We take care of each other. And uh, I, I love them as much as I love my own family. I mean, they are my family. What they're doing is amazing, and, and I, I don't know what we do without everyone's help because it's helping us get through. If you do want to help the Tidy family, there are so many different fundraisers going on right now. Just go to our website, cake.com, to find all the information. In Mulvane, Deb Ferris, Cake News. And one more blessing. The Tidy's 12-year-old son and older daughter weren't home at the time of the fire. Thank goodness.